252, 283 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Those were the numbers posted by UH quarterback Bryant Moniz this past Saturday in a 42-17 loss to Fresno State. It was the first career start for the sophomore walk-on, who continues to get the vote of confidence from the coaching staff. Moniz was himself a bit more critical of his performance, but he remains the guy as the Warriors prepare for this week's road game against Idaho. Uh, it was rough. It was rough. You know, I felt we did good though, but every time I looked at the scoreboard, it reminded me that we were down. And it was a rough game for us. Uh, rough debut, I guess. Yeah. Just got a lot to work on. We got to look at the film and I'd make adjustments. You know, there were some mistakes. I mean, there were. Um, and they came at crucial parts of the game, but some of the good things he did were, were great things. Um, just his. His uh, presence out there was probably the most impressive. Uh, I think he did pretty well. You know, um, we we didn't help him out too much sometimes with with drop balls and uh, not executing our routes as well as we could have. You know, we just got to do a little things to help him out, make his job easier. But I think he did a great job. As you heard, the coaches were also happy with the young quarterback's presence on the field Saturday, saying that even when things were getting out of hand against the Bulldogs of Fresno State, Moniz kept it cool in the huddle and on the sideline. He was excited he didn't seem nervous he encouraged guys on the sideline he communicated well he kept a positive attitude the whole game you know he's just trying to crack jokes in the huddle you know just trying to keep us calm and, and collected when we were getting frustrated whether you're up a lot or down a lot you got to keep the same um, composure stay poised can't get too excited can't get too down so you just got to stay even so uh, going forward confidence still remains very high for Moniz very high oh yeah I'm definitely 100% confident in, uh, in Brian Warriors now 2-3 and three, hit the road tomorrow for that game against Idaho Saturday. Vandals are 5-1, and 2-0 and oh in the WAC, and are 11.5-point favorites. Kickoff Saturday is set for 11 a.m. Hawaii time. In life, recklessness isn't usually the remedy to cure an ailment, but on the Warrior football team, that's what Coach Mack is asking of his defense as they try to shore up a defense that's been hurting for playmakers. The Warriors believe their lack of production has been coming from overthinking plays. During Hawaii's three-game losing streak, the defense has forced just four turnovers and three sacks. A glaring difference from the first two games of the season where UH came up with eight turnovers and five sacks on the opposition. Both of those games were wins. You know, coach told us on Monday that you know we we came in there and you know we fit our gaps. You know we're playing too mechanical. You said that. You know we got to go out there and just you know sometimes if you make a mistake, make a mistake, but make a play. You know sometimes you got to make mistakes to make big plays. And uh, I think we just got to go out there and not play so much like robots, but just go out there and play with you know kind of just you know like a reckless abandonment, like you said. When you're in the game, you just got to go. You know you got to uh, just forget about it. One snap and clear, and just uh, if you make a mistake, just move on to the next play. You know you can't let that one play haunt you. So because uh, you know we got a whole full. Uh, ball game in front of us. Also worth mentioning are a few defensive personnel moves for this weekend. Kuhuku grad Richard Torres has been named the starting free safety. The sophomore was previously the team's nickelback. Meanwhile, Mana Lolotai has been reinserted as the team's number one middle linebacker, while Blaze Source and RJ Kiesel Kauhane will play on the outsides. And on again, off again, linebacker slash defensive end Jake Ewan has returned as the backup middle linebacker. Kickoff for UH's game with Idaho is set for 11 a.m. this Saturday at the Kibbe Dome. Hawaii leads the series with an 8-1 record. The Vandals currently lead the WAC with a 2-0 mark.